Oh, hi everybody, here, here, back at you with another video. Um, this time I have a haul for you. Um, in my last video I posted, I went to a new antique slash collectible slash weird things shop um, called Found. Um, and I found it! Um, I'm amazed I not found this place before. <laughs> but uh, it was super cool, super awesome, tons of stuff to look at. Um, and I, of course, couldn't resist, and I picked up stuff, so stay with me. But I'll show it to you. So one of the first things I got was this creepy mask. So it's made in Mexico. It's a paper mache mask. So cool, cool. I feel like this could be like a racist caricature or something. I don't know what it's supposed to be representing, but it's creepy, it's cool, it's kind of awesome. So it's gonna go hang up somewhere. Again, I'm waiting until Christmas to hang stuff up because apparently I'm getting something that needs to go on the wall, so I need to make sure I lost it. Don't know what it is. Ended up next. This was actually the very first thing I saw and picked up, just because I loved his his or her little face. It's like this baby. Look at the face. It's like I know what you're doing. So I picked it up because I like the face. Um, the body I'm planning on probably taking apart and recycling and then I'm gonna probably because just tell the, the head just held on the string everything's just held on with pretty thin string so I might make a new body get a new body maybe I'll just leave it headless I think that might be cooler to go in my curio cabinet back here no idea though so but I got a baby I had a bunch of dolls this time little doll things um so yeah these are the little things and the other doll things I got these are the last were uh these little Adam Adam Alexander dolls in the video I was asking about them I ended up getting them for a dollar each as opposed to two um but I just thought they were cool this guy totally reminds me of um that creepy kid from um, that horror movie with like the twins and with the whole mess of twin alien baby human hybrid thing. I don't know. But uh, that's what he reminds me of. So I picked him up because it's cool. They're, they actually, their eyes close. I don't know if I can show it on camera. I try not to show. And then I got a tin man. Oh, well, he's cute. Most people think these things are creepy. I think they're kind of cool. He's cute. Uh -huh. His head's a little rockety. So I got him. The little gentleman kind of thing. Don't know where I put them yet, but I picked them up. They're both for the set, so. That was fun. Then the next thing I got, because I love, I love old photographs, I love, um, ginger hypes, um, cabinet cards, all kinds of different things like that. Um, and I also love these. Um, I have one of my mom. Um, but every time I see other ones that I really like, um, they're really, really expensive. This one was actually not that bad, so I snagged it. This is a gentleman. And most likely a suit, but yeah, these things are super cool. Um, my mom said it was interesting to watch when she actually sat down for one because legit the guy um, or woman who's doing it has a paper, piece of paper in front of them and stares at you and cuts your outline and everything. And sometimes they're, and she said the guy that they had was really, really quick, quick. It's like magic. So that's cool. I also love the fact that like the paper is showing age, kind of has like a stain over here. 
the back. It's all like worn and stained. But it's cool. It's gonna go somewhere with my collection of photographs. I have tons of photographs. And then the last thing I picked up oops, not the last thing. Um second to last thing I picked up were these popcorn boxes with Mr. Delish. So thank you. <laughs> it's like a circus guy on a ball and popcorn. And I got three of them. So I thought why not get all of them. Um, one of them has a tear and it has, uh, isn't in the perfect condition. Um, the other ones are pretty good. So but even then, they're, they're not bad for what they were. And the last thing that I got, and I'm most excited about, because I love bottles. I collect bottles. Um, is these. So I got this one. It's for Spirit of Camper. Ethyl alcohol, 85% by volume. So got that one. Love the amber bottles, they're kind of cool. I have a few blue ones too, but most of them are like white. And I got this one, I like this one because it has the pharmacy on it. The Zern Pharmacy in Springfield, Illinois, and it camper it or some probably camp for a while again. And this birch journal used only. Useful in sprain, fuses, rheumatism, pains and swellings of the breast and joints. So there's that bottle. It's cool. And then my favorite bottle, because I don't have one of these yet, is a poison bottle. That So, tincture iodine USP. This is antidote. Give starch, white of eggs, or flour mixed with water. Basically, give them cake. And they'll be fine. You can give them bread, too. Follow with. I'm gonna take of mustard, give strong tea, coffee, stimulants of diluted musculant drinks or flaxseed if needed. Call physician. And then directions, blood and code, do not bandage. So and it's from Hickey Drugs, again in uh, Illinois, in Oneida. I'm sure all of these bottles are probably, I don't know this one, but they were all together, and I don't know if they all came from Illinois, at least two of them, I know they did, but I was super excited to find a poison bottle of macabre, creepy things, so this was exciting to find for me. So, but yeah, that was it that I found, um, at found I'll just, I'll just say found and found but after that um, I of course went to the middle number 5 because I can't resist that place and I went to final destination I got myself more vinyl so these are the ones I got I got them out of the dollar bin so I was searching through the dollar bin because I find some interesting titles and I like this one Electra I usually get ones with uh, cool cover art, as I said. I listen to music too, I love music, but um, I like the cover art as well. It's like a street sign with that mud on it. Hopefully there's mud. So I just got those three. And they were tossing out a whole mess of books. And I was able to have them not to happen. So, I just named all bunch of books. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got like ten books for free. So, this one's Eleanor and Frank, and this one actually 
really intrigued me. I mean, totally read it. So I love history. His, um, that's what opens with the page. Um, it's by Joseph P. Lash, and it is Eleanor and Franklin, a story of their relationship based on Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt's private papers. So, it goes into detail about, like, her family, like, their honeymoon, probably their wedding, all kinds of cool shit. So, I thought that was cool, and I just dropped it. And then I got a whole bunch of other books that I'm gonna, uh, test out, because I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. But, if I don't, they will be donated. So I'll name that one for you. The one I thought was cool was this one, The Mighty Eight. Um, the Air War in Europe told by men who fought it. So I thought that was cool. Um, again, I love history, um, I love war stories, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's me. So that was it um, for that um, wonderful trip. Um, what I found. I um, also wanted to show you guys a project I've been working on just because um, my this is Christmas and Christmas is coming. So one of the big projects I've been working on is Christmas gift for my nanny. Um, she thinks during Thanksgiving um, she was talking about my Uncle Louie and my Aunt Louise because um, she had given me she gave me my, um, his magnet medicine cabinet. So I can turn the camera again. Got my his medicine cabinet. Um, right there. Um, belonged to them. It was in their bathroom. Um, he was, um, her great uncle. Um, her dad's brother. And he owned a dairy called LaBelle's Dairy. Um, and so she was having a great time talking about it. It was really cool. I learned the history of the piece that I have, um, that I now have. Um, I also got some other things with it. Um, yeah, some cabinet stuff. Um, so it was really cool to do that. So I decided that for Christmas I was going to give back. I searched and searched and searched. Couldn't find anything for the Bell's Dairy online. Until finally on eBay I happened to find this thing right here this little hat so once i found that and i wanted to make something with it and my mom and i talked about having objects related to the dairy so i asked her if she could part with them for a minute and i told her she would eventually give them back so we had pencils um the fan and a picture and then i copied the fan to make it look nice in the shadow box so i made this cool shadow box um display for the things from the dairy um the only thing that didn't include was this because i can I, I can't fit this in the shadow box but um yeah that's the look bottle she has so she's getting this back of course um not in the frame but the rest of it yeah it's in the frame um so it's nice. I just need to put hanging hardware on it, um, and then it's all set to go. Um, but I was happy to do that, and it looks really cool. Um, and I can't wait to give it to her so that um, our family history can be on display. Um, and hopefully learn more about our family. Um, I love learning about our family history. Um, a lot of my family actually are farmers. Um, especially dairy farmers, which is quite interesting, um, especially two different sides. So that was neat, and um, that was my pro that's been my project that I've been working on. So yeah, that was it. Um, I was actually another note. I was actually planning on post doing this video yesterday, but my parents ended up surprising me and then telling me oh, we're gonna go see Star Wars. Force Awakens yesterday, so of course that took precedence. So I got to see Star Wars. It was super awesome. 
If you haven't got your tickets already, I feel bad for you because you need to get your tickets and go. Please. Um, <laughs> the only thing that was funny going with my parents because um, they like fully grew up with the original. But I grew up with the original watching it um, on TV and watching it on the VCR and everything. Um, but I didn't get to watch it in theaters. Um, I got to watch the Rickles and theaters, which, yeah, most people know how most people feel about those movies. Uh, there's some good in them, but they're not really that well done. Um, but it was really cool seeing it in theaters. Um, as soon as the music played, it's just because it's been a while. Um, especially seeing the Hearing the music and seeing the writing play across the screen was like magic. Um, and seeing all of the characters, um, seeing Harrison Ford, um, and I can't remember her name, Lady who plays Leia, but seeing, uh, seeing them, um, as old as they are, still getting back into their roles, um, uh, was super cool. Um, it was also cool having a kick-ass, um, female character. Um, and it, um, Leia does a good amount of cool shit too, um, but, um, the main character, um, Ray, I believe, um, is her name, um, she does a lot of cool stuff, so it's exciting to see that, um, but yeah, I won't spoil it all for you, but, um, it was really cool, but again, my parents, because they've grown up with it, um, and, even me, because I've grown up with enough of it, um, and I've seen the movie so many times, you kind of could predict what was going to happen, so it was a little bit less, um, like it wasn't as overwhelming as, like, the first, um, ones, but I kind of expected that, um, when everyone was building up the hype, I was like, yeah, I will buy merchandise and stuff, I love Star Wars, but I'm not going to say I'm going to be so amazed by this movie because you you can't compare something like that to when you've never seen it before. Um, so if like a kid's seeing this and they've never seen like Star Wars before, um, they'll understand enough of the story and it will be a surprise to them and they'll probably maybe get more like all out of it. Um, but yeah, if you grew up, grew up with the movies, it's kind of a little bit predictable, but it's still cool as shit. Um, so I love the movie, had a great time watching it, was super excited to see it. Um, it was also super cool that the local theater we went to had most likely just a bunch of employees that got dragged into it. Um, but they were dressed up as Stormtroopers and Darth Vader, there's Leia, Han Solo, Chewie, um, R2-D2, BBA, um, um, I can't remember the queen's name, queen, queen whatever, I can't remember her name, but, uh, she was there, she was, like, moving around a lot, so I really didn't get to see her that often, I did get, we did get a picture, um, where she had us seen it, um, and then, of course, there's Boba Fett, which was really cool. But, uh, no, it was fun, but it was really interesting, too. Uh, they were all doing photo shoots. So I got my picture with Boba Fett, um, and this other guy, I don't remember, his, I don't know his name. Probably another bounty hunter. And then I got my picture with Stormtroopers. One of them decided to walk away mid-pose. Don't know why. <laughs> but, yeah, we noticed that, uh, a lot of the people playing, other than Darth Vader, Boba Fett, the other guy, Chewie, um, uh, it was basically, um, all the girls were, they looked like either not happy to be there or, um, and Leia just looked pissed. She, the girl who was doing Leia, she just looked ticked off, which is really like, you're playing, like, you get to play Leia, like, even if it's not the movie, you get to play Leia and you're pissed, like the hell is wrong with you um 
So I kind of offered him, and then one of the stormtroopers again, he just was like, not really paying attention, so walked away mid shoot. But um, yeah, it was super cool. Um, it was interesting to see, um, and super fun to see more Star Wars because I love the series. Especially, I love, well, I love the first half. I don't like the prequels that much. I like bits and pieces, pieces of the prequels. But, um, but yeah, so it was cool to see that. But that is it, I'm rambling. So, um, peace out. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like them and you want to see more of me just being crazy, um, hit the like button, button um, hit subscribe, and you can check me out doing kind of videos. So, that's it. Again. Okay.